I'm thinking. It's been a long two weeks since I made a video. So sometimes you make a video and then you loan your camera out to a friend for a week and then surprise when you get that camera back you accidentally leave it at your grandma's house. So sometimes it takes you a long time to get the next video out. And sometimes in that short two week span a lot of things change. So this video is coming at you in two parts. Part one, congratulations. My little sister is now engaged. So congratulations to Audrey and to Wesley. Eight days later my best friend got engaged. So also a huge congratulations to Taylor and Joe. Which basically means that my life as the star of the movie 27 Dresses has begun. So if anyone sees James Marsden hanging around, please let him know where I am. Now that we have that out of the way, part two, YouTube survey. Question number one, tell us about your first kiss. It involves me and my best friend in my bedroom when my parents thought I was sleeping. And then we got interrupted in the middle of it. It's also worth noting that this kiss happened after I was proposed to by this best friend and we got married the next week. That being said, I was five, it was nap time, my mom ran to daycare. So that's how that happened. Two, what is the most expensive casual item of clothing that you've ever bought? Probably my most expensive casual items of clothing are these, which are hoodies that I got at my school. However, I only bought them in the loosest sense of the word. I had a lot of money left over on my meal plan, and so I needed to spend it on things or else I lost it, which means that I bought these absurdly priced hoodies because I didn't need food. The thing about me is that I hate to spend money, so I don't really do a lot of shopping, but I do have a weakness for things that are nerdy. You may notice that I'm wearing the Yellow Ranger shirt from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, my purple parrot shirt from Legends of the Hidden Temple came in the mail today. Haikus are easy, but sometimes they don't make sense. Refrigerator. Team Edward Scissorhands. Star Wars pajama bottoms. Number three, the first job you ever wanted as a kid. I don't have any really cool answers to this question. I've basically always wanted to be a writer. I don't remember wanting to be anything before that, and that happened when I was like seven. Though I am really fascinated with outer space and always have been, so I think I may have wanted to be an astronaut at some point before that, but I could be wrong. Four, describe your group of school friends. I don't really know how to answer this question. I have 10 or 11 friends that I consider my best friends, and I've gone to school with all of them at one point, so I don't really know who counts. One of my best friends now lived across the street from me when I was little. Another one has been my best friend since I met her on the bus. But if you count junior high and high school as your school best friends, then I basically was friends with theater kids. The thing about having theater kids as best friends means that you tend to speak in accents a lot of the time. My friends and I, anytime we play Harry Potter scene it, you have to speak with a British accent. It's a thing. What I didn't know before I moved my senior year in high school is that most group of friends don't do that. That was never something that I learned. So whenever I started breaking out into random accents in this new environment and no one joined in with me, I think I was probably judged. Number five, what do you want to name your kids? At this point it's pretty doubtful that I'll have kids. I don't know if that'll actually happen, but names that I like Owen, Gabe, Charlie. I like C names a lot. I like the name Cameron for a boy or a girl. I like the name Connor a lot. I like the name Jamie for a boy and a girl. Gavin, Ava. Number six, who do you want to see doing this survey next? I would love to see everybody's answers. So everyone. I also had a lot of people requesting that I make a video where I just kind of introduce myself. So I've decided that for my next video, I'm going to do a Q&A session. So if any of you have questions for me and want to leave them in the comments, then I will answer them in my next video. So thanks for sticking around. Sorry that it's been so long, and I'm sorry this wasn't a particularly funny video. Also, you can still like and favorite and subscribe, just for the record.